or develop well-defined muscles, what we call macho. Often, people would not go to the gym because they believe the gym makes them buffed and kind of macho. Are there ways to train without necessarily piling up muscle? We contacted some medical practitioners in an attempt to find out if there are any health evils of exercising. We also try to find out how frequent one should exercise. So we are now with Dr. Tete Ujija of the Tema General Hospital and he tells us the goods and the evils of exercising. I think lately people are becoming more sensitive, aware about the need for exercise. But even with that, I've seen that or observed that people normally exercise once a while, maybe only Saturdays, they go and do their key fit and come back. You know, it's not something that people consciously or people, you know, continuously do. Once a while, health work once a while, and that's all. But they don't continue and make that conscious effort. And what really good in exercise that makes our body healthier. One important exercise is that it helps in circulation. When you exercise, you see that the heart rate increases, you know, blood flows the different parts of the body and different organs is maximized. Apart from that, in exercises, you know, excess fat is bent by the body. Excess fat has its own health risk. So during exercise, this excess fat is bent by the body to release energy. So looking at the excess fat being bent, looking at the heart pumping more effectively to make sure blood circulates well through the different parts of the body. So those are basically the aspects of this thing. So these are the health benefits from exercise. Basically. Are there any bad sides or negative aspects of exercising? Of course, there are negative aspects of exercise when you do it too much. For instance, somebody with hernia, when you do a form of exercise like something lifting heavy things, you know, when you lift heavy things, the pressure, what we call intra abdominal pressure, that the pressure in your abdomen is increased, forces the hernia to come out or causes the complicates hernia in people with hernia. You know, apart from that, people who have disease sometimes when they excessively do exercises, you know, they put extra stress on the heart and then that can even kill people, you know. So of course, when you do exercises too much, yeah, if you do it too much or do it to the extreme, you know, you walk a very long distance or run for a very long distance, something you've never done before, of course, you can overstress the heart. Apart from that, people like sickle cell disease patients, uh -huh. so in their form of exercise, they have to be very cautious. People like asthmatics too have to be very cautious. Since excess exercise can trigger an attack and that will even kill them. So those are some of the negative in quote aspects of exercising. So would you advise anybody who wants to do exercises to consult a physician before embarking on any form of exercise? I would say yes and no. No because you know yes because if you have a special health problem people come to me again and they ask doctor can I exercise and I, I look at their condition. I would say yes and no. People with special conditions like sickle cell patients of course they have to consult their physicians before they attempt exercises. Since that to lead to their death training now. People like asthmatics, I would advise that they also consult their physician before they exercise. People with heart problems, I would also advise. Apart from the normal people without any major health problems, you know, they don't need any, can just go ahead, exercise. Is for a, a normal person to maintain a healthy body, is there any basic kind of exercise for that person or that person has to go to the gym and be lifting metals and so on? Oh, not at all. What we doctors advise is what I will call brisk walk. Brisk walk. You don't need any gym. Even in your room, you don't even need to go out. Even in your room, you know, you walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fast, not slow, back and forth. You move to the wall, come back, move to the wall. Or in your house, if there's a gate, you walk to your gate, come back, walk to your gate, come back. You can do that, but depending on the distance. You do that about 10 or 20 times every morning. That is enough. Yeah, that is enough. That is a big exercise. There are a good number of keep fit clubs around, but what they do is that you see them going for their jogging and exercises, and then they come back, consume alcoholic drinks. How is that going to affect them? That is very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Yes, you are making a very important point. One important aspect of exercise is, is the maintenance aspect. You know, you have to make a conscious effort to, con effort to continue. You know, if you go and exercise, of course, the keep fit, they do very good exercise. Very, very good something, if they are able to maintain that every Saturday, you know, it's a very good thing. You know, but the problem is that, you know, when you finish all those things and you go and drink and stuff like that, it means that all the good work you have done, you are in a way cancelling the effect. Cancelling the effect. Of course, I don't mind. After a good exercise, you can take in something, energy-wise or whatever, you know. But I don't think, sometimes we over, people overdo things. You know, I don't mind after exercise you go and have a good drink. I'm not talking about alcohol, but 
after exercise you have a cool because of course after exercise in the body has lost enough energy they lost a lot of energy so replacing it is not alcohol a good meal it's all right i don't mind yeah but not alcohol when you are finished exercising and burning excess fat and then you go and take in alcohol that doesn't mean you know, you know by a good meal after an exercise after or after exercising i don't have any what our advice is that you know the key fit class will maintain it every saturday every saturday not one saturday or members should be advised patronize it regularly yeah not you go this saturday the next you are seen at your key fit class about two months time that doesn't help yeah finally what is your advice going to be for Ghanaians and an exercise culture my advice is, i know everybody knows that exercising is good and people have come to accept it but the only problem we have now is making that conscious effort to maintain it that is the problem we have people start but they are not able to continue what our advice Ghanaians is that we make it a habit it's not about jogging jogging long distances or whatever but just a brief walk you know, every morning will help no way for once a while keep it or once a while check health work or once a while office or workplace health work. So every morning just a brisk work is important. So people should work on the maintenance aspect of exercise, making sure they regularly do it, not once a while. That is my advice for government. So now that you know about exercise and exercise culture in Ghana, the benefits to your health, would you rather exercise or would you not exercise?